Brought to you by the Bose A20 Aviation Headset. Advanced Bose technologies let you focus on what matters, flying. And by the Aspen Evolution Flight Display. Aspen, a new way to look at avionics. Glenn Pugh for avweb.com. At AirVenture 2013, Jetman Eve Rossi made his North American public debut. We had a chance to sit and talk with him and hear portions from that interview. An airplane. It's a box. It's a fantastic box, supersonic box, but you are inside a structure. When you dream of flight, it's completely free, without anything than air around you. An airplane is a compromise. When you want to be a bird, you are inside the structure. The bird is, is the structure. So that's the main idea. And that's what did push me to go in that direction. Back to the root, back to the dream, the dream back to the pure flight. Not reinvent another airplane. Be the airplane. Uh, the forces around me I, I, are quite balanced because uh, it's exactly the same principle as when you put your hand out of the window of your car. Huh? It's like that, nothing happened. Do like that, whoop, the tendency is to climb. So I do, when I arch, does like that, but the forces is here, here, everywhere. So it's kind of balance. The same when I bend down, it follows with your hand out of the window of the car, like that, same like that. So it's kind of balance thing. We did measure with a platform, a mini platform inside the wing. We did measure the, the different forces. Before a loop, and really I, I give everything I have arching, huh? the maximum I did pull was uh, three Gs. And okay, it's about the same effort you lay down uh, on the ground and you try to arch. After a while, you, you have pain in the back. For a show like that, ideally would be perhaps more jumbo trunks. <laughs> and also actually, we are trying to get the, the picture of the helicopter because uh, we are trying to, to have uh, the opportunity that I fly close to the helicopter. That means uh, with the um, stabilized camera and Cineflex, you will see me like that on the Jubotron. Not only the digital camera that I have on my wing, but the view from the helicopter down to the Jubotron. So that's one step. And ideally, would be again the Grand Canyon. You know, you have a cliff. We do an air show at the Grand Canyon. You have 3,000 feet cliff. So, when, when this is the cliff, huh? you have 3,000 feet here. That's my safety altitude. And I can fly a few hundred feet away of the crowd, very close. Because my safety, and that's my life, it's minimum 2,500 feet. So I don't want to go down lower than that just and kill myself in front of a crowd. Safety first. In three weeks I will get four engines with double of the power. So with, I, I, I had the fantastic experience in, in these uh, jet fighters. You know when you go vertical through uh, a layer, a thin layer or a blue hole and you have the layer going down like that, it's overwhelming emotion and I would like to, to leave that just like that, you can imagine, like that, it would be good. Uh, and uh, especially now I'm instructing younger people, I have my first student with the, the, the next step, he's one month ago he did his first motorized flight with the same wing as I have. He's a very experienced guy, three times world champion uh, in free fly, uh, Vincent Refer, French guy. And the next step will be to fly both in formation, and why not more than two, a squadron. It depends uh, at landing of the situation of the, of the wind. Uh, you know that's quite heavy at uh, the end of the flight, I still have uh, 35 kilos, that means about uh, yeah, more than 100 pounds on my back. Uh, yeah, 75 to 80 pounds on my back, but it's heavy. If you have no winds and you come quite fast, it's better just, I, I say, I have a technique of six-point landings. Normally you have three on an airplane, huh? 
I have six feet, knees, arms, sometimes seven. But uh, it's better to finish like that under control than if you want to try to, to run with that heavy thing on your back and crash completely. So if the wind is good like yesterday, I finish really my flare and I stand on my, on my feet. If it's marginal, I prefer, okay, I go on my knees and protect the wing. Brought to you by Phillips 66 Aviation, the most trusted wings in aviation, and by Jeppesen Mobile Flight Deck VFR. See the difference at AirVenture 2013.